You're listening to the Bird Dog Babe Podcast with my mom, Courtney Bastion. Here I am, gearing up to record this episode, thinking I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to cry. And then I hear Burke, um, you know, start off the podcast and and I know that sound of you're listening to my mom like <laughs> because you guys repeat it back to me all the time about how much you love it and how cool it is that Burke's involved and um yeah so we try to regroup here but so here we are February 7th and thanks to a kick in the butt for needing to get things going on the Her Upland platform that I'm finally able to hop back over here and um, talk about my next move in life as as one chapter closes and another one starts. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a so long farewell um, to the Bird Dog Babe podcast, and um, yeah, it's it's been a it's been a journey. It's been a haul. You guys have probably know like over the last year, it's been kind of all over the place and trying to get content out here, but there's been a lot going on uh, that I'm really excited to share more about, but um, I wanted to start this off with why I started this podcast originally. So back in April of 2020 is when the first episode came out, but I had been planning mentally, I think preparing months in advance before that. Um, Listening to other podcasts, I thought, gosh, if I would ever have one, what would it be about? What would it entail? And so I went to the notes app on my phone, started plugging in some ideas, and before I knew it, I had over a hundred different ideas on there of what I wanted to be about. And it sat there as a Um, kind of a back thought for me and then um, in let's see I think it was September of 19 um, after a series of unfortunate events is what brought me and my family to Montana and I say that in a way that we hadn't planned to move to Montana at all um, but the way the wind blew it, it was just my husband said how about we just move west? And I go, well, honey, if you can figure it out, then, then yeah, we'll do it. And let me remind you, this was no easy task. So, uh, him and I, our son and daughter, both ages, let's see, what were they at the time? Four and two. Then we had four horses, five goats. Hmm. I never really know the number of dogs. I'm just going to probably put it between eight and 10 and leave that right there. But yeah, how do we, how do we get all those animals across the country from Wisconsin to Montana? And well, don't you know it because of the very amazing man that he is, he figured it out. So he moved out here first, um, got a job. Kids and I stayed back in Wisconsin for a few months until he found a house out here. Um, we had put in several offers, over asking price, even sight unseen, and we didn't get any of them. And there was this place uh, completely not near where we wanted to be at all, but had been on the market for over a year and was only seven years old. And I thought, wow, something's really wrong with that place, but go check it out. So he came and he came out here, looked at the house, uh, he called me right away, well, not right away, um, but an hour later, because there is no cell, cell phone service from this house to, um, yeah, an hour away is the nearest cell phone tower, pretty much. And he called and said, you're going to love it. And uh, yeah, so here we are. We were in Montana and absolutely loving it. But when I had originally come out here, so that was September of 19, we all know what happened uh, worldwide in February of 20. So not only did that put me out of work, which is travel um, around the country, but it also put me in a situation where I was not able to meet friends, meet new people. And, uh, you know, we didn't have the BHA pint nights. Nothing was happening. So I 
was just in this place where I was like, man, I need to meet people. I need to connect. And there's got to be women around here in Montana that hunt upland birds like I do that I could hang out with. So I decided, well, what better time than now when I have nothing to do than sit in my closet and start recording this podcast that I keep thinking I might do want to do one day. And so there, that's how it started. That's why I did it. Um, was to meet other like-minded women. And through these past years, I certainly did that. I've met some of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life. I have um, been on some incredible hunts. deep breath. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I really did dig deep as trying to find, um, get more women's voices out and heard and really search for people that had a lot to offer, really unique, hadn't been, um, common on other podcasts before, had new stories to share, new experiences, new tips and tricks. Um, the stories, oh my goodness, the stories. And, um, man, if I skipped a week or something, I sure, <laughs> you guys sure let me know about it. And and I appreciate that it was missed. I appreciate how many have enjoyed it. I appreciate that somehow I got past it this whole time from start to finish. I shouldn't say this whole time. There's a lot of podcasts that go way further than this, but I'm almost hitting that 100th episode mark. Actually, I think it is because I don't count the bonus episodes. Anyway somehow got through all of that without a bad review um, and staying at a five-star rating. I don't know, in in this kind of dog-eat-dog world, you um, and being a woman to take this platform, it was, it was a rough start, man. It was super rough. It was not very supportive at the beginning and um, the podcast name bird dog babe has been a struggle for quite a while since it was pointed out to me there uh, was another podcast network that was interested in uh, having mine join them but they wouldn't do so unless I changed the name of the podcast to something else because they said women told them that they wouldn't even push play uh, because of the name so Yeah, I appreciate those of you that have taken the time to get to know me, that have continued to push play, knowing that um, I have no other ulterior motive. This is no kind of sexual thing. I am happily married. I am an incredibly proud mother of two. And I think the word babe should be referred to as a badass woman. Somebody that is confident, gets after it herself, has all the tools to navigate, knows how to do it, trains the dogs, all the things. I mean, those are some badass women. They're babes. And so I'm sorry if uh, the title has offended other some of you, but um, I think it's ringy, and judges going to judge, man. Like, regardless of what you do, people are always going to have an opinion and something to say. I want everybody to think about as we start this new venture and getting more women's voices on this platform to I mean like if it's not your thing cool you know what the nice thing about it is is like you don't have to push play um just don't push play but spread the love spread the support um because it's super freaking intimidating I can tell you that for those of you that took the time to reach out to me whether that was in a dm an email a phone call in person or even writing a review and letting me know uh, that that this podcast was something that you loved, you enjoyed, and that inspired you or you learned something with, that means the absolute world to me. Uh, and, and I still sometimes pop through those reviews and read them because, wow, there's there's some pretty impactful things there. And I truly appreciate it. There's... Uh, to the sponsors of this podcast, all the Patreon members, the people that were helping support it monthly. I mean, this this isn't a paying gig. It, 
I mean, at least for me, it wasn't. It was a labor of love and um, all the amazing guests of the podcast. But most of all, thanks to my family, um, especially my husband, for supporting this adventure. The time, the endless time that it felt like I spent in the closet recording and um, the late nights editing, my incredibly supportive and patient family um, know that the day, the time you walk through the door at the end of the day, four o'clock when school is done, from the minute you go to bed around 8 p.m. is is when everybody should be shutting it off and just focusing on intentional quality family time because that is what is important. Before I close this out, I just wanted to share that um, there's this guy who was a self-proclaimed number one fan of the Bird Dog Babe podcast. Uh, he told me that, actually, several times. And um, his name was Benjamin Warner. I didn't have the opportunity to meet Ben in person. Um, but I think to know him was to love him. His contagious laughter... <laughs> During Zoom calls and whew, and FaceTime, it's it's something I'll never forget hearing. Um, it's placed so easily and readily in my head. If you knew him, he he likely touched your life in a really special, unique way. You know, one that really only an angel could do. Last March, Ben never woke up from his sleep. He was an excellent bird dog trainer. He was supposed to be at the NAVD Invitational this past September with his short hair, Bernie. And he had a brand new baby wire hair puppy that had so much potential. And he was just stoked for life watching this puppy develop and swim and pointing birds. And just how hearted of a wire hair bitch, typical, that she was. Um, ben was an avid upland hunter. Chucker country, I don't know how that large-built man just maneuvered his way across the Chucker Hills like he did. Um, but he embraced every opportunity to mentor, whether it was in, in hunting, dog training, or just shooting clays. I'd asked Ben at one point, I like, why, Ben, why do you like my podcast so much? What is it? And, he's, and he told me it was because I listened. He said that he enjoyed how intentionally I listened to my guests with such interest and curiosity. And I think about this because that's a strong message for all of us is that kind of a characteristic of just being able to listen shouldn't be so rare and it shouldn't come highly regarded. It's why why are we so eager to talk about ourselves and listen only for the opportunity to provide a response to that? 151,600 people don't wake up every single day. Live each day to the fullest. Surround yourself with people who ignite you, elevate you, and support you. Do good things. Be kind. Listen. And get after it. Thank you, everybody, from the bottom of my heart. I hope to connect with you over at Her Upland. I just dropped a couple new episodes on the Her Upland podcast today, which tells you about everything going on over there and um, how it's going to be community-focused in every aspect of the word community. Um, I won't be the host of that podcast. I'm definitely going to be jumping on and doing some here and there if need be. But I, it's going to be share, share hosted. I'm, I don't know if that's the word or not, but I'm going to call it that. It's going to be share hosted with the Her Upland team, board members, the regional coordinators, the volunteers, the dog trainers, field mentors, newsletter editor, website designer, all of them. It takes a village, and it is. And there are some amazing people helping uh, to make to make this mission extremely valuable to everybody so I hope you'll pop over there um, I'll put the link in the show notes to the episodes that came out today and I'll see you over there <laughs>